What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury, and Anthony Joshua. Get this. Alexander Usyk agrees with Tyson Fury, or Tyson Fury's claim over hiding after Anthony Joshua win. Fury has claimed that Usyk was how, hiding how strong he was from Joshua. Now the Ukrainian has spoke out about what happened. Hmm. Alexander Usyk agrees with Tyson Fury that he hid his strength from Anthony Joshua in his warm-up fights before dismantling him to stun the boxing world last month. The Ukrainian dominated Joshua at the Tot Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, winning the Unified World titles in the process. Despite his classy showing, Usyk's victory could have been even more emphatic as he closed in on a late stoppage in the final round. Joshua looked bewildered as he struggled to cope with the with his opponent's technique. Many had questioned whether Usyk's lack of size and perceived strength would hinder him against Joshua, but it proved to be nonsense. Rival Fury claimed that the 34-year-old held deliberately held back his true strength during two under underwhelming warm-up bouts. Now the new unified champion has explained all. He stated this. This is what he, Fury, has said about previous fights and many other people have judged previous fights, Usyk said. There are a number of reasons why I didn't look the way I quite wanted to and the way my fans wanted to see me. Let's take a look at the Derek Chisora fight. I have been preparing for eight or nine months. I had two camp stops, stops in that time. I had an operation on my hand and I got the disease that is scarring the world right now. Ooh, and that would be COVID. It all happened in eight months. So I am not saying it made me look bad or not so good, but there are a number of reasons that explains why it happened. I think it is stupid to judge a person by their previous fights because things change. A lot of people work on their mistakes and stop doing the stupid things and, oh, and stop doing stupid things. Usyk now holds the unified WBA, WBO, and IBF titles, having already reigned as undisputed cruiserweight champion. With Joshua activating the immediate rematch clause, Usyk will be forced to wait to challenge Fury for the undisputed titles. But the Ukrainian has been backed by his promoter, Alec Krasok, to dethrone Fury in the future meeting. He's told... Excuse me. The Sun. Both guys, Wilder and Fury, in the shape they were performed in are sweet dessert for Usyk because none of them performed with boxing skills. If Usyk shows his technique, his style of technique, I don't think either Fury or Wilder can any do anything serious to Alexander Usyk. My understanding was that Fury was going to lose on Saturday night. I thought he would get knocked out by Wilder. It wasn't in analytical thought. I've been in boxing for 16 years and it was just another intuition that said Fury has very high chances to lose against Wilder. Of course he didn't lose. I was in the studio for the commentary. That was a spectacular performance. Absolutely spectacular. Let me stop there. <clears throat> Usyk agrees with Tyson Fury to a certain degree. Okay, let me counterpunch the title. I think it should be there was factors because it wasn't that he was hiding anything. It was because what he didn't want to bring up as an excuse or a reason for his performance, like a lot of people do, right? When they don't have a so good spectacular performance, it's just kind of flat or it's it wasn't even really flat, but it wasn't the performance that people would like to see U Usyk to prove that he's a heavyweight champion. I think what he's saying is it wasn't he was hiding. It was because of what was going on. And the man caught COVID. Now, he didn't want to tell you he caught COVID, but he said the disease is plaguing the world. That's co that's COVID-19. So he had COVID-19. OK, that's why he looked the way he looked. But you never knew that this man had COVID. That's the shit I'm talking about. That's what you call integrity. That's what you call not speaking about something that is not necessary because it will not affect someone 
positively. It won't. It will only bring a negative light to Usyk and then the people that already hate Usyk or because they love somebody else or another fighter would, would give them the excuse to say, ah, he's just making excuses. Okay, that's what it was. He's just too small. That's what it really is. Yeah, he's just too small. He couldn't hang with Chisora. Chisora beat the hell out of him. Um, um, uh, John Witherspoon was a replacement, and he still gave him problems. Yeah, that's right. See, now he's trying to say he had COVID like everybody else is trying to say. First Tyson Fury lied, the Tino Teofimo lied, and all this, right? So, you know, that's what you would run and ran into, and it's a good thing that he did not say anything. He waited years okay after that to explain yeah tyson fury was right you know so it wasn't necessarily he hid his strength okay but it was just factors that affected the way it was it wasn't like he was playing possum you know what i mean but then again if he was who did play possum with his fighters or when they were hurt evander holyfield Evander Holyfield and Alexander Usyk. Usyk looks up to Holyfield because he wants to be where Holyfield was, and he is where Holyfield was, needless to say. So I think that if he was, because if you look at the Derek Chisora fight, though, there is a possibility that he was kind of holding back on that fight, though. If we look at it, just because if you look at him, he was just kind of, you know, kind of like almost playing with Chisora, like, like, like a bull in a matador. You know what I mean? He would get roughed up a bit. He would get hit with some horns, but he was constantly moving, wasn't he? And he's constantly doing what he's supposed to do not to get pierced and ran over by that bull. And that bull name was Derek Chisora. John Witherspoon, you know, he was a veteran in the game. He's been fighting a very long time. But, you know, uh, of course, that was a replacement. You know what I mean? But guess what? No excuses. So it's spectacular that this guy, who knew he had COVID? Who talked about COVID more than anything else? We even had P uh, Pulev was talking about the reason I fought the way I fought because I had COVID. You know what I mean? You never even knew this dude had COVID. That never hit any headlines that Alexander Hussey has COVID. We heard that he had a surgery. We heard about that. We heard that he had an injury and that, you know, need, that meant he needed a surgery. But we didn't know that he had freaking COVID. He had COVID-19 that whole time. Not even like during that time, but he got sick. And anybody that knows of COVID, I know. Okay, I don't have to ask anybody else. I know about COVID. It took me, I've, I had COVID in late July, early August of this year. So you had the rest of August, which sucked. Uh, September, which, okay, uh, now it's October, the mid part of October. Okay, well, that's been two and a half months ago, right? Roughly. So it took me about a month and a half to even kind of like train, like, you know, I'm on my jump rope and stuff. And, you know, you have to force yourself to do exercises. So I know more than anybody else, right, how it can affect you. And it affects everyone different. I get that. But I know that, hey, it took a while. So a lot of things are affecting. You got a guy with a surgery. You got a guy with an injury, then a surgery, then COVID. You know, that's things that someone else, anybody else with a weaker, weaker mentality would say, you know what? Hey, I had all this going, man. Fuck y'all. But did he say that? Nope. But when he heard Tyson Fury, hey, yeah, he was hiding the way he was. Well, I mean, no, <laughs> but maybe he was. Because then again, he did agree with Tyson Fury for hiding, right? So he just added that extra stuff in there, like a cherry on top of the cake. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Alexander Usyk agreeing with Tyson Fury that he was hiding how strong he really was. And let me add this to you. Look how well did he took a punch. I mean, yeah, his face got busted up. But did you see Alexander Usyk like affected by punches from Joshua? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, his face told a story. Sure. But did, he, did you see this man at any time like, oh, off his footing? Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.